Hi there. I'm going to show you how you can automate common mathematical tasks in Best Calculator. Best Calculator is a calculator program available on the Windows App Store. It's free and there's no ads. There's two versions, a regular version and an IoT version that lets you do more with Bluetooth and files and stuff. But for the moment, let's assume you have the regular free with no ad version. Suppose you're now a person who, who buys and sells things. This is very common, right? And let's suppose that you're buying things it's, it, and you need to make sure you have a certain amount of markup. I buy something, it's say $96, and I want 20% markup. To do this, we'd say plus 2,0%. And it tells us that our markup on that amount was $19.20. And then we hit equals, and that tells us the total price that we got to sell it for in order to get our 20% markup. There's a lot of clicks here, however. And that makes it prone to error. Best Calculator includes four programmable buttons on it. You can write your own little program in BASIC and override these buttons to do whatever you need. Let me show you by showing you how you can write your very first program in Best Calculator BASIC. We go up here to the BC BASIC menu item, it's at the very top. Equation input, sigma function, Library. Let's do library. In order to make a new program, we got to make a program. Let's do plus. This makes us a new package. List of programs is nothing here. We add our program. And let's edit it. It starts off with an actual little value. So value equals a uh, program. So that it, it creates a program for you so you don't have to like be faced with a blank screen. And it shows you some of the capabilities of Best Calculator Basic. Now, this is a basic like a lot of other basics. If you used to program like Sinclairs and Commodores and stuff, this will be very familiar to you. If you've been programming your text instruments calculator, it's similar, but it's a different version of Basic and more of the classic Basic. So let's step through what this program actually does. This was written for for me. So this is value equal calculator at value. That means we're going to look at the value that's already in the calculator stack. We're going to come up with some new value, which in this case is squaring it, and I don't want to square it. And then it says stop with a red bell, and that will actually stop and return that value. We don't actually want this. What we want is we want to calculate a profit margin, right? So we're going to say um, profit equals value times 0 0.20. So the profit that we need, we're, that we're looking for, is going to be the value, the cost, times 20. The final is going to be total equals value plus profit. Now let's actually print all this out to the screen. It's fun to see it actually printed out to the screen. So we're going to clear the screen. CLS means clear the screen. Print all in uppercase means we've got to print something out. Let's say start, which is the value. Start's not a very good name for it, though. Let's call it um, uh, cost. May as well keep things clear. We're going to print, if I can spell it correctly, the uh, a profit. And that's this value, profit. We're going to print the total value. You can tell I'm doing this live because I'm making typos. And then the return value, we don't need that. And we're going to stop with the total value. All right, well, let's try running that. Let's hit save. Let's go to the calculator. It's going to grab a value from the calculator, right? So let's put in uh, $100. So that's now in the calculator. We go back to our library. Here's our program. Uh, remember, I saved it. That's important. Otherwise, it'll forget that you did this. We're going to grab the value out of that calculator value, $100. We're going to calculate a profit, that value times 0.2, which will be 20. We're going to calculate the total, the value plus the profit, that will be 100 plus 20, which is 120. And then we're going to print it all out. And you know what? I'm going to just run this. Program result 120. Because we said stop, we get this little dialog that comes out. Cost 120, profit 20, total 120. It's kind of cool. Now let's take that and bind it onto one of those program button keys, and we do that up here. What do these other things do? Well, this goes to my website that has a lot of information about the calculator. This one lets you go to Amazon and buy a copy of the manual, and this actually 
go straight to the PDF file because there's like a 300 plus page manual that explains how to use Best Calculator and how to program it in BASIC. So let's click on this button, which is Program a Key button. Let's change our P1 button. The package is in that thing called New Package, and it's in this thing called New Program. And what should the key be labeled? We're going to call it just 20%. And we're going to hit Save. And now we don't need to look at this library anymore. We can just look at the calculator. And all of a sudden, there's this new button. And the new button says 20%. Let's try it out. Let's pick something that's $10. Let's clear it first. $10. And hit this 20%. What's going to happen? It's going to do the calculation for us. Cost, $10. Profit, 2 Total, 12 It also tells us how fast it ran because I got tracing turned on. And the final result gets put into the calculator because when we stopped, we said stop and report this value. And so it reports that value and pl plunks it right in. All right, so that's the very first program. You've now written a program in Best Calculator Basic. Let's go back and clean it up a little because we should always go back and clean up our programs. And the first thing we got to do is we shouldn't call it new program. We should actually give it a name. And, and the name for this program is going to be uh, uh, Calculate calculate uh, profit and the key value I'm going to get say 20% and says I uh, takes a uh, cost from the from the calculator calculates 20% uh, uh, margin calculates total to screen. There we go. Well, that's a little bit nicer looking. I go back here and I always save stuff a lot because I'm, I'm nervous about saving. And let's also like, it's, it's not a new package. This is my cat. This is my store uh, programs. These are all the programs for my store. And one of them is, and I said there's a profit uh, at 20%. There we go. And so now my little library says store programs, profit at 20%. We can go back to the calculator and we can give it a try. Let's say uh, we got an item coming at $50. What does 20% look like? Hey, the cost is 50, the profit is 10 bucks total. Got to sell it for $60. Oh, and by the way, you can cut and paste this because you know you should be able to cut and paste. Because it's nice to be able to cut and paste stuff. And so you can plop it into Excel and stuff. Okay, now you've written your first program. You verified that it works. You added it into your library. You've programmed a button to use it. You've now made your calculator program much more useful, much more personalized to what you need to do every day. In other videos, you're going to see just how much stuff Best Calculator has available to it. There's tons and tons of examples with the quick samples of the ones that came with the, 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 the pre-programmed on the buttons. We have examples of all the aspects of basic programming, and I got some pre-created programs for finance, some examples for the playing and speaking, uh, real estate statistics, uh, some system test stuff. There's a lot of features built into Best Calculator, and one of the most fun is speak because we can make it talk. Hello world. I am Sierra. Ta-da! It spoke. There's a ton of features built in. The manual, like I said, it's over 300 pages of how to program this, all with stuff that you can cut and paste directly into the programming system. Thank you for watching this introductory video, and I hope you have success with your basic program.